Fly Girl Surfing and Sports is brought to you by Kua Aina Sandwich, serving hungry surfers since 1975. Oh. Up and takes up a surfboard, heads out, out from the seashore, from the world in where she lives. She's got no fears, worries at all right there, just the smell of salt water that's in the air, and the sunrise. She's walking on water, she's walking on water. Fly Girls Surfing and Sports is proudly brought to you by North Shore Surf Girls Surf School. We celebrate the 50th anniversary of Title IX. Title IX demanded equality for women in sports.
thing here and I kind of was like, just, you know, the self-doubt comes back and I like literally was just surrendering. I was like, you know what, <laughs> if I get another second, this has been such a blessing. I've had such a good trip with good people and I feel like so much love. And so um, the universe just sent me the wave and I'm so grateful. <laughs> oh my gosh, I was just like, hold on, hold on right now. And I was just, I'm really happy that I was able to make that second maneuver. And I never claim, we've been talking about claiming, but it just felt so good. And I was like, I don't know if it was worth the claim, but hopefully it <laughs> Fly girls surfing in sports. Be a part of the women's sports movement. Water sports are the fastest growing activity in the world and fly girls surfing in sports covers them all. Let us elevate your project. Contact our marketing team. Be a partner and fly with us. Fly girls surfing in sports. Buy before you buy. Should have tried before you buy. There's a better way. Get to Surf and Sea in Haleiwa. We've adapted to the changing times, and we're Hawaii's ocean sports headquarters. Boards, SUPs, diving equipment, and more. Where you really can try before you buy. We're on the beach. Why aren't you? Boardbroker.com. Buying and selling a wide variety of surfboards, subs, lessons, and more. Find your perfect match today. I just love surfing because it's so fun and I get to be in the ocean every day and it's just so great because some people don't even get to go to the beach in their whole lives and they live in like a place where they've never even seen the water and it's just really cool. Blow tails and reverses, those are like my go-to. I just practice every day at least four hours, so it kind of helps. <laughs> and to win several world titles. It's hard because there's so many girls that are ripping, like even from different countries, like Brazil and Australia. Like I went to Australia a couple months ago and I met Quincy Simons. She's so amazing. And it's just great to see all the sport and the girls just stepping up their level. Aloha everyone, I'm Jasmine. This 4th of July, the Parker Ranch Rodeo and Horse Racing returned to celebrate right here on the Big Island of Hawaii. 
The Parker Ranch Paniolos carried their flag proudly, celebrating 175 years of one of the largest and oldest cattle ranches in the United States. Competitors and fans arrived in Waimea early on America's Independence Day, eager to see the rodeo and horse races for the first time in two years due to the pandemic. The festivities began with honoring the Parker Ranch, the United States, and of course, Hawaii. With every seat in the stands filled, you could tell this year's rodeo was more special after two years of waiting. Uh, quite more special. However, it felt like we uh, didn't know what we were doing after two years of not having a rodeo. Uh, it's a major production to put on uh, Parker Ranch 4th of July rodeo. Uh, lots of pieces go into it, but so exciting. So exciting to, to be able to be back in this racetrack and, and the arena again and uh, give our community something to cheer about, right? Didi Keke Alani Bertelman was the only wahine to compete in all three roping events in the arena she calls home definitely giving the crowd something to cheer about. Uh, my dad is Sunny Kekialani. He worked for Parker Ranch for about 27 years. So my sister, my brother and I grew up here um, on the Parker Ranch. We were very fortunate to uh, be able to be a uh, part of the behind the scenes, never in the arena, never in the racetrack. Um, we would help them kakele or train their racehorses uh, the month prior to a Parker Ranch rodeo. And um, then we do the hot walk um, piece to it when you see the cowboys cooling off their horses afterwards. Those, that was our role. Our moms were always in the box, um, timing. Um, but as far as us children, that, that was our piece to it. Uh, about 15 years ago, uh, Parker Ranch started inviting outside ranchers here and then more women participated not only in the arena but also in the racetrack as well. Um, so I work for the Parker Ranch but our family ranch has been invited for the past 15 years to come and participate. My niece was 10 years old when she ran her first one-eighth mile race. Um, yeah, behind they, they say right behind every cowboy is uh, uh, you know, got to have that cowgirl or that wahine, yeah, that helps to support. And that is so true in our ranching community, yeah. Um, the wahine holds a strong place in many aspects of, of ranching. Um, they also go out and help do the work when it's fencing or building rock walls or helping with horses, just taking care of the children. And um, feeding the cowboys is, you know, is not the only aspects that the wahine play in uh, in our lives here it's a blessing that i get to be able to do to do this um i just i love horses i love to ride um Hawaii is one of my favorite events just because it um it replicates what my dad always did yeah rope wild cattle on the mountains and he roped on every mountain Mauna Kea, Hualalai. Uh, Mauna Loa and Kohala. He roped wild cattle on every on every mountain, and it was always my dream to go and rope wild cattle. <laughs> um, but that wasn't a place, yeah, for uh, the girls. So if I can do it in the arena, then why not, right? If I can encourage that one little girl who may not be raised in this lifestyle or understand our lifestyle, to be courageous, to be, to know that, you know, you can do whatever you set your mind to do. And um, yeah, just be you. Moku Hawaii Surf Shop has everything you need for your next surf go out. Get in on the action at Moku Surf Shop. Rent a board by Donald Takayama, Carl Shopper, Claude Codgins, Jay Richardson, Firewire, Henson, Cheater 5, and more. Sup boards, fins, snorkels, body boards, awesome lessons, they have it all. Located perfectly one block inland from famous Queen Surf Break in Waikiki. Meeting all your surfing needs with Aloha.
Fly Girl Surfing and Sports is brought to you by Shopper Hawaii Surfboards, the official manufacturer for Lost. Check the showroom in Wailua just past the sugar mill with over 250 boards always in stock. ShopperHawaii.com Buy before you buy. Should have tried before you buy. There's a better way. Get to Surf and Sea in Haleiwa. We've adapted to the changing times, and we're Hawaii's ocean sports headquarters. Boards, SUPs, diving equipment, and more. Where you really can try before you buy. We're on the beach. Why aren't you? I was super happy to be back in the final with Daida. It's been a while and uh, yeah, super happy to win. Uh, the conditions were not the normal posse, but uh, still uh, fun and a good result for the event. happy for my sister um, so she sailed much better than me so she deserved first place Given the conditions, I think I sealed really well and that's in the end what makes me the happiest when I push myself in my jumping. Fly Girls Surfing and Sports is proudly brought to you by North Shore Surf Girls Surf School. We celebrate the 50th anniversary of Title IX. Title IX demanded equality for women in sports. What? Buy before you buy. Should have tried before you buy. There's a better way. Get to Surf and Sea in Haleiwa. We've adapted to the changing times, and we're Hawaii's ocean sports headquarters. Boards, SUPs, diving equipment, and more. Where you really can try before you buy. We're on the beach. Why aren't you? Fly Girls Surfing and Sports. Be a part of the women's sports movement. Water sports are the fastest growing activity in the world and Fly Girls Surfing and Sports covers them all. Let us elevate your project. Contact our marketing team. Be a partner and fly with us. Fly Girls Surfing and Sports.
Yeah, it feels cool. like a lot less pressure than doing the Challenger Series because like I'm at home, it's like no money, <laughs> it's like free pretty much. So it's like kind of more relaxed and I really like it. Yeah, I'm for sure thinking about um, the point aspect of this competition and I definitely want to make the finals and the goal is to win. So I hope, yeah, I hope I keep this rhythm and um uh, 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 Hi guys, my name is Pudi Soto. I am 16 years old from Makaha Oahu. Um, I just finished my second heat of the day today. Um, really stoked to get the win and really grateful for the opportunity to be surfing at Bowls. Um, yeah, it's just a beautiful day, it's a beautiful place, um, and it's awesome to see everybody back at comps and to be able to have the opportunity to go to Challenger and stuff like that. So it's really awesome to see all the competition and everybody's back to it, ready to go. Fly Girls Surfing and Sports is proudly brought to you by North Shore Surf Girls Surf School. We celebrate the 50th anniversary of Title IX. Title IX demanded equality for women in sports. So it was like super fun and uh, my first heat I was kind of scared but then after like the second heat I was like so in love with the wave and it was such a fun opportunity. Um, pipeline is definitely really heavy but I learned to make smart decisions on my waves and don't drop into anything that you can't handle or, or never hesitate when you paddle for a wave and it helps you make it make the drop and just bottom turn and pull in. Next to your fire. Every time next to your fire. 